After coming out from Big Boss 8 house, Arya Baba's life has completely changed. Watch the exclusive interview here where the actor is talking about his plans after the eviction and also opens about his relationship with actress Mini Shalamba. This is the first time I'm going to actually be talking about my book. I never wanted to talk about my book just at a normal press event. It was important that I would connect and talk to the youth, you know, to the college students because the book is rather about them. It's the language that, you know, I spoke in college or rather they speak in college too. The book is called My Fiance, Me and Hashtag I Fucked Up. I fucked up many times, though, but yeah. <laughs> and uh, so uh, we all fuck up. And the story is basically about that. It's about a simple guy. So is it a sort of autobiography? I mean, bronze autobiography? From your, from, from your not personal experiences of college. Well, um, in that way, then the book would be, uh, I don't know, two, three thousand pages, but it's just a two seventy two page. Okay. <laughs> so it's it's not an out and out autobiography or something. But yes, it is personal experiences. It is mixed with friends' experiences. But it's a story about one character. And I would be talking about it more on the stage and revealing it out too. But in one line, it's a story about the fact that we all fall in love. We all try to love truly, but we all fuck up someday. And that is what it is. It is my fiance, me and hashtag I fucked up. How has life changed after Big Boss? Life has fantastically changed after Big Boss. I, uh, I never knew I was such a patient and a calm person. I never knew I could be so sane around uh, people who are losing their head, bald men going crazy. But uh, I have been able to sustain my calmness. I have been able to sustain the sophistication that my parents uh, brought me up with, the culture that they brought me up with. And uh, I think I'm happy about that. Right. Are you still in touch with Manisha? Or how are things like that? I think pretty good. Very nice. And I wish her the best. Okay. Are you following Big Boss? right? Uh, not at all. I have no time to follow Big Boss right but, now. But you know, how are things with Puneet now? Once he's out of the house, you would be alright meeting him? No, I would never... Uh, I would obviously meet him. And uh, I would touch his feet because that's the way my parents have brought me up. But he's a very bad human being for me to respect or keep any kind of family ties with him. Okay. And uh, who would you place your money on? Your favorite country? Well, Opain Patel. Oh, and why so? Uh, first of all, because he's a brother from another mother, as I say it. I've always said that. I've always said that. And uh, the second fact being the fine, uh, funda that he's the only positive person in the house who's not, who's not uh, involved in any gossiping around. He's playing clean. He's the only one who's left in that house who's still playing clean. Okay. Any offers from Salman Khan? You'll know, sir. Uh, talk, us, talk us about your future film projects. Uh, Bangistan. Okay. Uh, Excel Entertainment with uh, Ritesh Deshmukh, Pulkit, uh, myself and Jacqueline. That's going to be out. Punjabi films are there. Uh, a lot of movies and a lot of TV stuff happening right now, right after Big Boss. So that's great too. Arya, who has written some plays earlier, had also worked in few films before participating in reality show Big Boss, but he hardly got any recognition. Seems like after Big Boss, Arya is ready to start a new chapter of his career. IANS Report